In the golden age of cinema, there was a star whose comedic talent and ability to play many roles made them stand out. They were known for their wit and charm on screen, making audiences laugh and cry with their performances. One of their most famous works was a film where they showcased their skills alongside their sibling. This movie remains beloved by many for its timeless humor and captivating storyline. So, if you're a fan of classic cinema, stay tuned for more fascinating insights into this iconic actor's career. A talented actress from the silent film era, she left a lasting impact on cinema. With notable works like Intolerance directed by D.W. Griffith, she showcased her charm and skill. In the comedy drama A Pair of Silk Stockings, her comedic talent shines through. For a delightful introduction to her versatility, her sister from Paris features her in a dual role. Additionally, the romantic comedy The Primitive Lover enchantingly displays her ability to captivate audiences. These films offer a glimpse into the golden era of silent cinema and are essential for film enthusiasts. In her early years, she grew up alongside her sisters, Norma and Natalie, attending Erasmus Hall High School in Brooklyn. The school had a long history of famous entertainers, which inspired her to pursue her dreams. She learned from the success stories of past graduates like Aline McMahon, Jane Cowell, Beverly Sills, and Barbara Stanwyck. Her image even made it onto the cover of Electro Swing Fever Ball 3, a music CD released in 2014, showing her influence in the entertainment world. She mesmerized audiences with her performances, making a lasting impression on cinema. Despite facing difficulties, she never gave up, proving her talent in an industry that demanded perfection. From her humble beginnings in Brooklyn to her rise in Hollywood, she became a symbol of success, inspiring countless aspiring actors and actresses worldwide. Her story reflects determination, passion, and unwavering commitment to her craft. Today, she remains an inspiration to artists everywhere, in the old days, some movie stars kept their birth year secret, making people more curious about them. In an interview called Talking to the Piano Player, she shared deep thoughts about her life, showing what was really going on behind her glamorous image. For a long time, she lived in the busy city of Chicago, where she faced both good opportunities and tough challenges in her career and personal life. Once when she was away, her husband and mother-in-law had a scary experience with burglars. It was a big deal that got a lot of attention from the media. People started spreading rumors, saying the break-in might have been a kidnapping attempt. But nobody ever found out the truth. This event left a strong memory, reminding them of how vulnerable they could be, even though they seemed to have a perfect life. Despite having some arguments and going through tough times, she and her family came out of it all stronger. These experiences added more layers to her personality, making people even more interested in her life, both on and off the screen. Throughout everything, she remained a mysterious figure, keeping audiences interested with her talent and charm. She left a big impact that lasted long after the silent movie era ended. This story shows how she dealt with challenges and kept going, even when things got tough. In the vibrant city of San Diego, a fascinating tale unfolds. Back in 1927, a trio of sisters embarked on a unique venture, igniting the inception of the Talmadge Park real estate development. This district, now known as Talmadge, lies just a short distance southwest of the San Diego State University campus. The visionary trio comprised a daughter named Constance Talmadge and her aunts, who made significant contributions to the project. The visionary behind Talmadge Park, Constance's aunt, played a pivotal role in shaping the district's landscape. The development stands as a testament to the creativity and foresight of these enterprising sisters. Streets in the district now bear names that pay homage to each sibling, a lasting tribute to their familial bond and collaborative effort. The connection doesn't end there. The influence of Constance's mother, Margaret Talmadge, extends beyond the realm of real estate. Renowned author Anita Luz, credited for Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, attributes the clever quips of characters Lorelei Lee and Dorothy to direct quotes from Constance's mother, affectionately known as Peg Talmadge. This fascinating intersection of family ties, real estate development, and literary influence adds layers to the story of Talmadge. The district's legacy lives on, not just in bricks and mortar, but in the words and wisdom passed down through generations. Nestled within the heart of Hollywood, a street quietly commemorates the impactful presence of two influential sisters from the early days of filmmaking. Back in the bustling film studios of the 1910s, particularly at what we now know as the ABC Television Center, these sisters left their mark on the silver screen. One of them, a pioneering figure in the burgeoning film industry, made a memorable gesture at Grauman's Chinese Theater. At a time when cinema was still finding its voice, 
she immortalized her presence with not just two, but five distinctive footprints symbolizing her unique influence. Despite the rise of talkies, she remained loyal to the silent film era, starring in numerous silent masterpieces that shaped the early days of cinema. Her final cinematic endeavor took her to France, where she bid farewell to the silver screen with one last silent opus before gracefully retiring. Talmadge Street stands today as a silent witness to Hollywood's golden age, honoring the cinematic achievements of these remarkable sisters. In her first marriage, Constance Talmadge had a double wedding alongside another couple, Dorothy Gish and James Rennie. This unusual start to matrimonial life set a distinctive tone for Talmadge. Noteworthy figures in the entertainment industry also had distinct views on her. Irving Berlin labeled her a virtuous tramp, while Anita Luz considered her one of the few genuine femme fatales I have ever known. These epithets reflect the enigmatic persona she carried both on and off the screen. Additionally, it's interesting to note her family connections. She became an ex-sister-in-law to notable individuals like Buster Keaton, George Jessel, and Joseph M. Schenck, providing a glimpse into the intricate web of relationships within the entertainment circles of her time. Such unconventional beginnings and varied perspectives paint a picture of Constance Talmadge that goes beyond the usual Hollywood narrative. Her connections, both personal and professional, added layers to her identity, making her a figure worth exploring in the context of the entertainment industry. In her early years, she was lovingly called Dutch, reflecting her lively and spirited nature as a chubby tomboy with blonde hair and brown eyes. This childhood nickname stuck with her as she grew older, reminding everyone of her energetic personality. As she grew up, she formed a strong friendship with Marion Davies, showing how lasting and special her connections were. The nickname Dutch wasn't just about her looks, it symbolized her lively and robust character. Throughout her life, Dutch remained a symbol of fondness, reminding people of her carefree youth. Her friendship with Marion Davies stood the test of time, showing how strong their bond was over the years. In the story of Hollywood's past, Constance Talmadge's tale is one of resilience, friendship, and a beloved nickname that stayed with her. Her lively spirit, captured in the nickname Dutch, is a memorable part of cinema history. In an unfortunate turn of events, it's notable that Constance Talmadge faced a distressing experience during her career. Despite her success in silent films, a fire destroyed a significant portion of her work. This devastating incident resulted in the loss of many of her films, leaving a gap in the preservation of her contributions to cinema. It stands as a poignant reminder of the fragility of artistic endeavors and the challenges faced in preserving cultural heritage. The loss of her work in such a tragic manner remains a somber footnote in the history of early cinema. In the early days of Hollywood, a well-known actress faced a devastating turn of events in her personal life. Despite her success on screen, she encountered heartbreak behind the scenes. Amidst the glitz and glamour, she endured the pain of a failed marriage to a producer, which ended bitterly, leaving emotional wounds that lingered long after the cameras stopped rolling. Behind the curtain, she grappled with the challenges of a tumultuous relationship, highlighting the sharp contrast between her public persona and private struggles. The shiny veneer of Hollywood hit a deeply personal tragedy that overshadowed her journey, revealing the harsh realities that even famous figures faced. Amidst her cinematic triumphs, her personal turmoil serves as a stark reminder that fame and fortune don't shield anyone from life's trials. Her story sheds light on the complexities of life beyond the spotlight, showing the sacrifices made for success in an era when reality often blurred with fiction. In an unexpected turn of events, Constance Talmadge's career took a tragic hit when she lost a significant portion of her wealth due to financial mismanagement. Despite her success on screen, she faced challenges managing her finances, leading to a decline in her fortune. This stark revelation sheds light on the harsh realities that even celebrated figures like her can encounter behind the scenes. During her heyday in silent cinema, Constance Talmadge enjoyed immense popularity and acclaim. However, beneath the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, she grappled with personal struggles, including a tumultuous romantic life and financial woes. Despite her talents and charm on screen, she faced setbacks in her personal affairs, highlighting the often overlooked complexities of fame and fortune in the entertainment industry. Despite her talent and charm on screen, Constance Talmadge's personal life was marked by tragedy. After a string of failed marriages and financial misfortunes, she experienced a decline in her career and struggled to maintain her former status in Hollywood. The sobering reality serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by individuals behind the silver screen, beyond the glare of fame and success.